Hey, it's me. Um, I'm at your house, and I was just wondering uh, what time you were going to be home. When you get home, will you page me, and, and I'll call you back? Okay? All right, this is, you know who this is, right? <laughs> me, Kelly. We'll talk to you later. I am having a fun time tearing up this truck. <laughs> you see, I haven't even bought it yet, and I'm just out running around. I wish you could have went with me, but I went out to Stampede, and uh, nobody was, I couldn't go in because I was wearing fucking shorts. <laughs> so, and I didn't see your car, so, I don't know, I guess I'll go back out there. Is your machine getting all this on the message? All right, bye. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, what's up? Listen, we need to do that on your resume tomorrow on Sunday. See, I'm going to have to go to bed. i got to go to bed tomorrow, like about... I have to go to bed tomorrow, like about 10 o'clock in the morning or, or 12. I need to be in bed by 12 so that um, I got to be in bed because I got to get up at 6 and go to work. So uh, listen, um, let's do that early in the morning so we can uh, get it over with, okay? I'm telling you, I can get you a good job probably with, with this resume. You could probably get about, you know what, you might even get lucky and get like 25 or 30, I don't know, 1,000 a year. Because what we'll do, we'll apply for all different kinds of jobs. Hi, it's me again. Um, I'm just calling to, I'm up here at that, that club, um, Stute, uh, um, Studers or something like that. Um, uh, you know, the one up here on Preston and LBJ. And uh, anyway, I just cruised into the park. Uh, I told this guy to go in and get you a page. All right, thanks. Yeah, anyway, pizza uh, fiesta, every pizza's party. The uh, they're paging you right now. I don't know. I forgot what your last name was. I thought I told him page Victoria. Victoria um, Alexander. But I don't know. I guess. Sausage. So. Uh, they're paging you right now. You should see all the cowboys, boy. They they sit, they saw this truck and they drooled. <laughs> I got the cowboy dream truck. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's me again. Uh, you still haven't came out yet. You may not be here. I don't know. But they're they're paging you right now. It's trying to get you to come outside, I don't know. But I'm having, I'm driving over mediums and stuff like that, making U-turns and driving over curbs and all kinds of crazy shit. I'm having a blast in this truck. If I, if I need, I made a U-turn on the, on Preston at a red light, I just drove right over the, the medium. You can do that in a truck, see, because you know, you got a high, high wheel base and stuff like that, you know. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yep. I guess I got it all now. Tether phone and a truck. New truck. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, well. I guess you're not here. I don't know. I, you'll get all these crazy messages when you get home. But Jealous. But, <laughs> but um... I don't want to play games. Just answer the phone, okay? I mean, guys, we're just friends. I mean, you're jealous, and I don't like to play telephone games. Telephone games are not fun. They are frustrating, and I hate them. And we could be having a good time watching TV, eating popcorn, watching a movie or something like that. But instead, you'd rather sit at home and play telephone games with me when we could be doing, we could be at the same place having fun. Okay? I like to have fun. I don't like to play games. I like to go out and do things. I mean, 
I'm not talking about expensive things, but there's things that we can go out and just do that doesn't cost anything. We could be watching a movie together. We could be just, we, I could be cooking dinner. I, I mean, there's just so much stuff we could be doing right now that we should be doing, but we're not because you're not... You want to play these telephone games and all this crap and hard to get, play hard to get games, and I don't like it. It's not fair, and it's, it's not, it's not fair, and it's not. Look, this is driving me nuts. Would you answer the phone, okay? I don't like this. All right. I wish you would. You're gonna to have to face me sometime. I mean, you're gonna to have to face a man someday. I mean, face it. The only way to have. It. The only way you're gonna have well I don't know what you're gonna do but but I, I don't want to play these games I'm tired of it I mean it's it's had me this frustrates me and you know I don't know how much more I can take of this I mean if you want to go if you want to have do something tonight and have a good time it's still early we could go do something I mean, shit. otherwise you know I mean you're just wasting both of our time I'm down for having a good time. I don't know what you're down with. I mean, personally, I, I'm down with having fun and going out and stuff like that. Or just staying at home, you know. I cannot believe this, Victoria. You are acting like a child. You are acting like an adolescent child. I mean, I just don't, I thought that you were more mature than this. I really did. I thought that you, we're much more mature than this. I mean, here you are. You won't even talk to me. You're jealous because I, I can't believe it. Oh gosh, I just cannot believe it. I did not expect this from you. I mean, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to have any fun. I mean, it's not me. I know that. It's I. There's nothing wrong with me. I mean, I. Other than the fact that I'm just a little frustrated with trying to be you friends with you, that's all, I mean, but other than that, I mean, I don't know what's going on, I mean, we could have went, okay, Victoria, look, apparently you're, you don't mind me leaving messages, I guess, I, mean, I don't understand, I mean, what the problem is here, I mean, I mean, I just, I can't, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, you know, try, trying to, I don't have anything else to do. And I'm, I don't know, I'm, this is getting old, it really is. I mean, here we are with both of us. You're sitting at home doing nothing. You probably don't even have a friend coming over. Here I am sitting over here in Arlington with nothing going on. And I'm taking the first step, trying, I'm trying to take the initiative here and say, let's do something, let's get together and, you know. Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to get on my, you want me to beg you for forgiveness or something? You want me to plead and beg with you? I'm not going to. I don't have to and I won't. I'm not gonna beg you for anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry anymore. I'm through with that. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm just not gonna do that anymore. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do either. But well, this battery has finally started to run down. So. You, I'll, I might call you later, I don't know. <laughs> uh, goodbye. I had to come and get another battery. I don't know what, you're so, what you think is so special about you, but there's a lot of girls out there I know that would like, that would, that would love to be my friend be a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean,
for you. I'm probably the first guy to ask you out or even try to be your friend probably in your entire life. And now you don't even want to, you want to play games and you want to do all this immature crap. I mean, I'm trying to do this on a mature level, you know what I mean? But, but you know, I don't mind playing games like this because to me, this is just something to do, okay? Now, if you want to get serious, you know, and be friends, we'll be friends. But if you want to play immature games, you know, I can do that too. This is you do, you know. But you should try to be more serious, I think. Take me ser you should take me a little more serious because, I mean, it's not, it's not very often that somebody comes along and says, hey, you want to be friends? Well, Victoria, I don't know what the deal is, but why don't you just tell me what you think? If you haven't even said what you think, you won't tell me nothing. But the least you could do is give me the satisfaction of letting me know what you think. I mean, that only seems like a lot of things. You should at least tell me how you feel. You know what I mean? You're just kind of leaving me hanging. You're not even get, telling me anything. This is ridiculous. Victoria, I don't understand what's going on here. I really don't. I just don't understand it. I mean... Stop calling! I don't know. I'm probably in the stupidest person because I'm sitting here calling you for basically no reason at all. I mean, I don't know what the deal is here. I feel so stupid for calling you so many times, okay? And I just want to let you know that that's the way I feel. But, I mean, I don't get the point. I mean, you haven't told me not to call you, and I'm just leaving messages on your answering machine anyway. You never said stop calling or nothing. You're just... Victoria, listen, let me come over and and spend a night at your house, okay? Because I don't want to sit here all night long in this apartment again. I mean, this is a weekend and I don't have anything to do. Let me come over and just, like, crash out on your couch or something, you know? Because I really need some company because I haven't had any company all week long and I was wondering if I could just come over. I really need somebody right now. You don't understand. Apparently... It, I can't believe you'd be so cold-hearted that you would not hear me out and let me do that. I mean, gosh. So just, just hear me out, okay? And, you know, let me come over and, cry and spend the night or something. Because I don't want to sit here all by myself again. I mean, I, I live alone, and I, apparently you've never lived alone before, but it's not that great having your own apartment and stuff. Because if you don't know anybody, it's kind of lonely. And, somebody out, I mean, I can understand that. I guess, just don't understand. Yeah. I was really hoping we could be friends, you know, but, I mean, you know, some people just have some time, I mean, I'm going crazy, I think, because, I mean, here I am, I live alone, or I don't have a job right now, I'm trying to get a job, but, um, I don't have any friends, and all I'm trying to do is make friends with you, you know, and that's all, you know. And you're trying to play like some kind of hard to get or something like, or like you're too good for me or something, I guess, I don't know. Yes. Kim, this is Tony, thought I'd give you a call. Bye. 
Victoria, it's about 10.30. I was just kind of calling to check on you. Um...